Hey, what is going on people? This is Hellbent, and today I'm going to be releasing my newest version of the Smart Clicker. Um, this is going to be Smart Clicker version 1.1, and this is a fixed position auto clicker. If you're looking for an auto clicker that uh, clicks wherever you move your cursor, um, try checking out the uh, Smart Clicker version 2, 2.1 or the Smart Clicker version 3. Um, both of those have a version of the Smart Clicker that allows you to click wherever you move your cursor. Uh, before you ask, no, this auto clicker does not work for uh, games like Minecraft. If you're looking for an auto clicker that works for something like Minecraft, uh, check out my toggle clicker. That one's perfectly designed for that kind of game. Um, this one is a fixed position on the screen. So this, this auto clicker is only going to be available as a paste, so you're not going to have to download the auto clicker. And I'll go into, if you've never uh, used a paste uh, before, I'll show you, uh, stick around to the end of the video and I'll go over everything that you need to know to get this up and running. Okay, setup is really easy. All you have to do is just go through the four tabs and then you're set up. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is on the first tab, you're going to decide whether you want to use the target window or not. And there's virtually no reason why you wouldn't want to use the target window because the target window means that once you set that window, if you switch to another window, the auto clicker isn't going to click on things that you don't want it to. So you can ignore the first page and jump to the window. What you're going to do here is you're going to hit the set window button and then click on the window that you want to be your target window uh, twice. And now that'll load that as the target window. So if I switch to another window, such as this here, or another screen, it's not going to click. Um, once in a blue moon, uh, I haven't really seen this very often, but once in a blue moon you might come across a application or a game or something where the title of the window changes periodically over time. Uh, this is one such example. So up here I can see that the title of the window is Zero Cookies and then, you know, Cookie Clicker Google Chrome. Or what, if I was on Firefox, it would be Firefox, etc., etc. But if I click on this cookie, after a second it's going to change the name of the window so what I need to do to make sure that this still works is I need to come in here and edit this so I'm just gonna get edit this down to basically cookie clicker Google Chrome and then I'm gonna hit update and I'm good to go next I'm gonna set where I wanna click um, so I'm gonna hit set position and then I'm gonna click somewhere inside this center of this cookie and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create an imaginary box around that cookie so if right now uh, I have it set by default for 80 pixels by 80 pixels. So if I hit preview, it'll show me this green square. And what this means is if, my, if I move my cursor inside of that green square, it's going to start clicking. And if I want the auto clicker to stop, I don't have to press any hotkeys to stop it or anything like that. All I have to do is just move my cursor outside of that box. So if my cursor goes inside the box, it'll start clicking. If I move it out, it stops clicking. And if I want to, I can make the box bigger. But I really, I really don't suggest making the box that big because uh, if you have the auto clicker set to click really, really quickly, it's going to be difficult to get your cursor outside of a large box. Okay, so I'm going to change this down to about 80 pixels by 80 pixels. But like I said, you can change it to whatever you want. Um, here, I'll do, uh, I'll do 200. 200 by 80 so it'll be 80 pixels tall to so if I move my cursor anywhere inside of that box it'll start clicking next I just need to set my speed so what I can do here is I can set a delay in between each click uh, in milliseconds so let's say if I want to click 20 times per second I would set this to be about 50 millisecond delay I'll set for games like this usually about 30 milliseconds is pretty good speed and then that's it I can now start the auto clicker. You'll notice up at the top left hand corner that it has these three squares. This is the indicator to tell you what the status of the auto clicker is. If it's red, it means the auto clicker is completely off. It's not trying to click anything. Once I hit start, it's going to go into standby mode. And this means that the auto clicker is on, but because I'm not inside that square that I had created, it's not going to click. 
In fact, because right now this is the active window, even if I move my cursor here, it's not going to click. If I switch to another window, it's not going to click. If I want it to click, I just activate the window by clicking on it. So now this is the active window, and if I move my cursor into that spot, you'll see this light turn to green, and you'll see it start to click. Okay, so the auto clicker's on. Now, what do, how do I stop the auto clicker? Do I press a hot key? No, I just move my cursor, and it stops. And you can see that it's back to being in standby. If I want it to start again, I just move it there again. Stop, start, stop, start. Okay. This also has a turbo mode. Um, now this is the turbo mode is mostly meant so that way if you turn off click delay so it's not going to have any it's going to click as fast as it can. Uh, the turbo mode is going to eat away at your idle processing time. So unless you have a fast com really fast computer, do not touch turbo mode. Uh, this will click probably uh, somewhere around 2,000 clicks per second, give or take, if you have a fast computer. Um, so if you have if you turn off use click delay and turn on turbo mode you'll be clicking at about 2000 up to somewhere around 2000 clicks per second but unless you have a very fast computer you're not going to want to use this because any all your other applications the games or whatever that you're trying to use it on they're not going to have as much uh, access to the computer's uh, idle processor time okay i think that covers everything about it um, like I said, if if for some reason, if for some reason you you come across a window where the whole window title changes constantly, what you can do is just turn off use target window and then just make sure that you turn off. So right now, I'm going to activate. This is now the active window, but because I'm not using the target mode, I can just actually go over there and if I switch to another window right now, if I was to move my cursor down there, it's going to click. So if you have to, if you do, for some whatever reason, turn off the use target window, just make sure you stop the auto clicker before you switch to another window. Okay, so if you're still here, if, you, if you're not familiar with uh, you getting, um, using pastes, uh, what you're going to need to do is have a copy of Auto Hotkey, which is the programming language that this is written in. You're going to need a copy of that on your computer. So just Google Auto Hotkey, go to their site, go to Download, and then Download Auto Hotkey Installer. And in less than a minute after this time, you'll have it on it. Okay, so now let's say you have that. The next thing you're going to do is in the description, there's going to be a link to this paste bin post. And all you're going to do is go to the very bottom of it. There's going to be an area called raw paste data. Down here at the bottom. So you go to raw paste data, click anywhere inside of it, and then press control A to highlight it all, and then control C to put it into your clipboard. So now that you have it in your clipboard and you also have auto hotkey on your computer, next thing you're going to need to do is create a new script. So I'm going to go to my script editor and I'm just going to open up a, a folder. So pick a folder anywhere on your computer. Uh, it could be your desktop, for example. And then assuming that you have auto hotkey on your computer, if you hit right the right mouse button and then go to new, you should now you should now have an option to create a new auto hotkey script. So go ahead and select that and you'll get this. Just give it a name, uh, name it the Smart Clicker version 1.1. Um, I already have a couple of copies of that, so I'm going to do temp scv1v1. Okay. Once you've created, named your script and created it, the next thing you're going to do is right-click on it and go to Edit Script. Um, you probably aren't going to have a script editor like I do, so when you hit Edit Script, it's going to open up a notepad. So just so that way you have an easier time of it, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to go to Notepad. So go ahead and hit Edit Script, and then I'm going to jump over into Notepad and uh, do that as well. I can't just hit Edit Script because it's going to open it up in here, but what I can do is I can navigate to that folder. Smart Clicker version 1, and I'm going all files, and temp sc1. Okay. When you press edit, what you should see now is these four lines of code. You can go ahead and get rid of them, just delete them out, and then paste in what you copied from that paste bin link. 
once you have it pasted in go ahead and save and then you can exit out of this once you've exited out what you all you need to do now is go to that script and you should see a white page with a uh, red H on it with whatever you named it all you have to do is now is you either double click on it or you can right click and at the very top it should say run script so go ahead and run the script and voila and you already know how to set it up so that is it um, a few little pointers I don't suggest what I what I recommend is actually I've built it in so that way you can't actually get it uh, that small so by default if you were to try to do something that is a box that's too small like four pixels by four pixels oh, I need to set a position first see how small you can you can't even see that you can't even see that if I was actually to try to run this auto clicker right now so I'm gonna turn that off if I was to try to run this now it's going to say that something's wrong with that box that box is too small so I've set the minimum box size that you can have is four pixels by four pixels. If you set it anything less than that, it's not going to work. What I really suggest you don't do is make it the whole screen. Like, don't do something like, uh, do not make the box this big. If you do, you're never going to be able to pause this auto clicker. Fortunately, if you if you didn't leave early, uh, you can now get the opportunity that I'll tell you. There's only I only included one hotkey in this, and that's an emergency exit. So if for some whatever reason if you may, if you if you do a foolish thing like make that box too big, if you press Control, plus Shift, plus Alt, plus Escape, it'll exit out of the script. So if I run this here, if I press uh, alt shift control and escape it'll exit out of it all right that's it uh, hope you enjoyed be sure to hit that like button and I will see you guys on the next one